Hello again. Earlier in the week, we heard from Mike Van Dorken, who expects a 5% rise in the FTSE next year. What about the DAX and Germany? Well, I've been speaking to Anita Paluch from Gecko Global Markets about Germany and also about the Fed's latest bond buying program. The Fed have announced another round of bond buying, but the reaction by the markets has been very muted. What's the reason for that? That's right. As we have seen, markets have responded very, very um, uh, quietly to, to the new announcement of Fed um, uh, announcing um, additional um, injection of cash into the economy. I think that this has been already priced in, and as such, um, it, it hasn't uh, caused a massive reaction. Do you think everyone's just a bit sceptical about bond buying? Because it, we, we even see it here with the Bank of England that there's not that enthusiasm that there once was. No, not really. I mean, we, we have seen um, what, what, what's also connected to, to, to the whole economy. We have seen a lot of uh, cuts in the, in the forecast for the future, for the next year, growth, economic growth. So I think taking it all together, yeah, the, the enthusiasm isn't just there. So let's talk about 2013 and Germany in 2013. Last week we saw the forecasts for Germany. They were pretty miserable. Do you think 2013 is going to be a very tough year for Germany? Yeah, you're right. I mean, we have seen the forecasts have been uh, slashed by Bundesbank as well. And um, yeah, this has been a pretty chilling news for the markets. However, if we consider how, how the Europe has um, performed over the year and how many countries have also seen the slash in, in their growth uh, forecast and that it hasn't actually been that surprising I would say. Um, in terms of Germany, although it has, uh, it has seen a slash in the forecast, it's still performing very very well in comparison to, to other countries. It has, still has got a very resilient economy and even though it's called the, um, the uh, export uh, machine, export growth machine in, um, in the Europe, um, the very important factor in the German economy is the um, domestic growth, so the German economy still is very, very resi resilient. Yeah, I spoke to Mike van Dorken from Ascendo Markets about the FTSE. He's expecting a 5% uptick next year for the FTSE. Do you think that the DAX can outperform that? Absolutely. I think DAX is quite well positioned to, um, to rally next year. Um, if we look at the fundamentals, um, the German companies that um, build the German DAX, um, they're still quite well positioned. Um, if we look at the, how they how they position for the, for the export, how they've done their homework in terms of uh, cutting costs, restructuring, and they're still doing that. They have increased the equities, they have decreased the debt level, so um, there is still room uh, for, for improvement. And what about the German elections next year? Angela Merkel's up for re-election. She's, of course, a key figure in the Eurozone. First of all, is she expected to, to regain power? Um, yeah, Angela Merkel, she's, uh, she's definitely done very, very well in, in terms of leading Europe um, in, the, in the crisis. So she, she's looking to, to win the elections as well. Absolutely. Uh, what, what's very important is to um, face the problems um, and tackle the problems um, um, Europe is, uh, is going to still have uh, coming next year. So well, what's really important is to, to look at the reforms that are really, really necessary. As we have seen in the past month, uh, the um, austerities, uh, austerity measures have actually cut through to the um, social fabric. We have seen protests and demonstrations um, across Europe. Um, this is very important and um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say the, um, the protests are very, very alarming signals. We have seen in Europe um, the Baltic countries, um, they have uh, faced and they have introduced much more restricted reforms um, in, in terms of um, uh, coming out of the crisis. So, um, uh, yes, we, we would need to see more reforms uh, coming through. But what about, because Germany has been leading, is the leading voice within the Eurozone for austerity. What, what does the election mean? Does it mean that Merkel has to be seen to be very strong on austerity and then run up to the election? Germany has been the strongest proponent of the austerity measures and um, if we consider um, that Germany has actually made the experience um, six, seven years ago, they, they have been called the um, sick man of Europe and they have been in a place that we actually see Italy in right now. So they have made the experience um, how to cut debt, how to restructure the whole economy. So um, they are talking, I would say, from the experience how to go through austerity, how to reform economy, how to, how to deal with the problem. So, 
uh, they will still uh, propose further austerity measures um, as such. But also we have seen um, some sort of softening in the German stance. Uh, we have seen uh, Angela Merkel has actually opened slightly the door for haircuts for Greece. So um, in terms of austerity measures, yes, they will still propose them. They will still back them up. But I think, yeah, in terms of um, the results, they would also need, need to look at the um, at the whole Europe from, from a different, slightly dif different angle in terms of um, softening the approach. Well, that's all for the moment. I'll be back next week for the final interviews of 2012. But for now, goodbye.